Well, hello there. How are we doing today? <laughs> so, we're not going to be able to get a whole lot of the backside of this home today. So, I'm going to start with the backside of what I can get. <clears throat> There's your back door back there. A really nice set of windows. It's going to be in your living room area. You got this really nice front porch. You got these uh, nice stone pillars. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be finished off with the s'more that goes up to the top or not but anyway we've got this really nice front porch on this immaculate as you can see we're right next to a busy road so anyways I start to say you've got this three bedroom immaculate uh, two bath home made by Clayton Holmes Yes, we are at Clayton Homes here in Albany, Oregon. Once again, he's got a very unique floor plan. Not to say entirely unique, but definitely different. <clears throat> the entrance is located in a not so traditional spot. The kitchen layout is a little bit different. The bedrooms are all down at this end of the home. So this one has all your bedrooms at one end. And I'm sure you're gonna like it. I'm really glad Clayton Holmes has let me come film these homes have seen a lot of stuff that I have not seen in the past so you guys are gonna want to stick around I almost feel like I should make a playlist of Clayton homes just because there is so many nice homes so many unique things in all their homes that uh, like I said I'm really glad I got to come film these homes If you are enjoying them, don't forget to hit that like button down there. Leave a comment. It helps these videos perform better. Gets them out there to other people. So really nice front porch here. And you got these nice, you know, not just your standard door handle on there. Okay, so normally I start the videos when I come in from standing right there, pointing this way. Well, this time, I gotta show you this. I mean, look at that entranceway you get. Really nice foyer area. And you got the arches up there. And you've got this really nice area when you first walk in perfect place to set yourself a little bench right there come in take your shoes off take your coat off sit down do all that kind of stuff and then you've got this nice coat closet over here hang up all your coats put yourself a shoe rack in here if your bench doesn't have a shoe rack in it already there's a really nice entrance way just come not to say completely separated off, but I like the way they've done it. And then you've got this huge living room area. Let's in a ton of light with those great big windows. And you get yourself some blinds and some blackout curtains on those. Of course, you know, nice to have them open and let in the light but you put some blackout curtains on them and bam you've got the perfect wall for your entertainment center your home theater system set your tv up right about there your cabinet down below perfect spot for your tv 
home theater system. Of course, you could use that wall, but then you're looking down into your kids' area and your bedrooms and all that, so the way they've got it, the couches and everything laid out is perfect for it. You've got a great big dining room area and lots of windows. Yes, as you can see, we are right next to the freeway. Apologize for all the road noise. I'm not sure if I pointed out or not, but this home has a really big kitchen also. To go along with this huge dining room, these and has tray ceiling in here with recessed lighting and then coming into your kitchen. Just a really nice kitchen. I love this glass backsplash they got here. It goes almost to the bottom of your cupboards, but not quite. Again, you've got the black Frigidaire appliances. Now, it's not the largest of islands. we got plenty of room in here between your sink and your island, and you've got this huge window above your sink. And lots of cabinets. Once again, this is the, got the newer style of cabinets. It goes all the way to the ceiling and then they've got that bull nose with the crown molding. As in one of the previous videos where they had the older style with the cubbies up at top. It kind of left a lot of room for the dust bunnies as the manager said. So they decided to change that and makes it a lot nicer I think. Really nice. It's getting that backsplash all the way around. Of course, now with them being the extra tall cabinets, you almost need yourself a step stool to reach the top. But other than that, they look really good. The black Frigidaire appliances. I know some of you like to have the coffee bar right next to the fridge so about the closest you can get is either that little spot right next to your stove or you can set your coffee pot right here it is still right next to the fridge we've got our pantry back here it's a good size pantry And then coming out of your kitchen, you're going to go either to the dining room or back into your living room area. And come down this really wide hallway. Just kind of see if you can get an idea how wide it is. Utility room is the first thing you're going to come to. Now it's not a very large utility room. But got a nice set of cabinets up there. More than enough room for your full-size washer and dryer. In the back door, and I believe the way this was set up, there's plenty of room to put a garage back there without interfering with any windows. You've got your furnace. Not a large utility room, but uh, plenty big enough for everything you would need. guest bathroom so you got the nice rain head shower sitting there and I really like the faucets and handles and stuff they used in here square porcelain sink 
and we will say hello to Raiden. For those of you that are new here, <clears throat> and I know I haven't said it in every video, but those of you that are new, I do have a seven-year-old kid that uh, watches my videos. He gets a kick out of it when I wave to him. I might have to start in including a couple of little clips I've got where he, when he filmed him as he's watching them. He gets all excited. Oh, that goes further down than I thought it did. He gets really excited when I wave to him and he sometimes he even waves back to me. Even though obviously I don't, I see it when I was watching the videos, but obviously I can't, you know, it's a video. I don't see the wave, but anyway, rambling, you know how it goes. So these are good sized bedrooms here. And I will post once I get the floor plans. Of course, you've probably already seen them pop up a little bit. Post the uh, sizes of the rooms once I get a copy of the floor plans and things like that. As I said, all your rooms are down at this end. So those were your two kids' rooms. And like I said, I don't usually like to share a wall with the kids' rooms, but you're technically you're not because you've got the wall and then you got the closet wall so a little bit of separation between the two the master bedroom it's a really good sized bedroom here double doors on your closet over there You just got the fan, no tray ceiling in here, but who knows, maybe that's an option. And I showed you a little more and I was trying to show you right out the gate, but sometimes that happens. And we've got the closet. Now this does have, I noticed in this home, wire racks in all the closets. That's a simple change. In fact, I don't even think it costs that much to put the uh, wooden racks in. I've kind of been looking at some of the options when I was doing the homes at uh, another place, and they had a list or a link to the options available. And looking at prices of some of the stuff, it's really not that expensive to do the wooden racks in the homes. So... We need to show you the bathroom. Let's go. It is open. There's one thing I'm not sure about in this one. You do have the nice archways. Like I said, this is a very nice home, very unique home. I'm just not sure how I feel about the wide open bathroom. And I know a couple of other people have commented about it. The one, the big one that I had, triple wide, it had the wide open bathroom. At least the bathroom was, so to say, separated from the sleeping area. So you weren't looking straight into it. But you do have this really nice dual vanity. You got the big storage area above, recessed lighting, great big mirror. Once again, the dark bronze faucets. You got a linen closet right off to your right here. At least though, you've got a separate water closet in here. So you can at least close yourself off while you're using the bathroom. Great big tile shower here. I'll step in here and get you a shot. I really like this glass inlay they do. That really is glass. And so yeah, really nice shower in here. You've got a little bit of a shelf right here. I know I've seen in other ones where you can option a shelf over there too. Maybe have to consider doing that. 
for a shelf right over there just so you got more stuff to put like your shampoos and your soaps and your little scrubbies and all that kind of stuff. So why don't you option yourself down into the comment box down there and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the home and its layout. Like I said, it is a little bit more of a kind of different layout. Very nice home. I'm not sure if I pointed out, you also have archway going into there. I said, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. While you're down there, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notifications. That way you get notified when I upload video. Currently uploading three times a week. Those days are Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And with that, I will see you in the next one. And I do thank you for watching. Bye.